Hello guys, so we know that the premium suit Android Jelly Bean 4.1.1 is out for the Note 10.1 which brings a host of new features on the Note tablet including many from the Note 2. And in this video, I'm just going to talk about all those new features that have been added onto this tablet. So let me take you into settings, about device and there you go, it's Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. So as you would expect from Jelly Bean, um, you know, the screen transitions and screen animations are extremely smooth. You know, there's no stuttering or any kind of frame skipping. Um, you know, even scrolling is really nice, very responsive, it's very quick. Launching application drawer, you know, moving across uh, different windows. It's really nice. So yeah, you know, a lot of improvements. So that's just the, uh, you know, a quick access to a lot of your shortcuts. Just look at the response. And now uh, this is a task manager, so you can use it to, you know, clear memory or whatever. So this is also a phone, as you all know, and you know, you can insert your SIM card and access 3G as well as make calls. Now let me show you what's the real highlight of this update, multi-window. So, you know, much like you would use uh, a computer, you have different windows open and you can use them simultaneously so, you know, multitasking is just at a whole different level now. And you can just go inside and you can start using a particular application. So the gallery view is, again, very similar to Galaxy Note 2. You've got, you know, a timescape view, so you can just browse your pictures in a timeline fashion, a spiral view. And you've got this really neat and clean, organized way of uh, putting photos from one album to the other. You know, it kind of makes your job really easy and organizing photos fun. Airview, as you all know, is the is another highlight of this update. You know, it's not on, so you have to go inside settings and put it on. And what it really does is you can preview your videos, your emails, um, you know, even pictures in your gallery just by hovering your pen over them. And I think it's uh, it's really cool. I mean. I don't know how useful it is, but it looks certainly looks great. So quick command is a fun way of, uh, you know, providing instructions or basically quick commands to your tablet. So say you want to search for weather, you just write question mark and it knows it needs to search Google for that. Or say you want to call someone. So a hash stands for call. So you just say hash and then the name of the person, if it's in your phone book, it's going to make a call. You can also assign uh, toggles so say you want to turn your GPS on or off. So you, know, you select GPS and then uh, you just write, for example, you know, G stands for GPS. So G, okay? And I named this profile as GPS or something. And now let me show you that GPS is currently off. Now when I write G, it'll automatically turn it on, right? So you can do this for obviously various things. Now, if I want to launch an application, Wallbase. So I just write W for that. And when I write W, it launches Wallbase. Now, if you're into photographs and pictures and sketching, Paper Artist is really a fun and cool way to edit your photos and, you know, give it a very sketchy artist look. So you can go into your gallery, select any picture you want, and, you know, you can apply a lot of effects. So, you know, you can, and you can then shade portions of that to make, make it colorful or whatever. There's just a lot of those uh, filters that you can apply. And then you can very easily share them, um, you know, or save it or apply frames or whatnot. So it's a really fun and cool way of um, you know, editing your photos and you can just share them through, well, you've only got so many options, right? Now the next feature I wanna talk about is S-Note and there are quite a few um, you know, new things about S-Note. So first of all, I wanna show you is uh, you can try uh, you know, the, color that, the color of the pen that you're trying to select. So you can you know, adjust your strokes, uh, stroke width, color, paint a brush brush type and you can just try them first on a rough paper then you've got these presets on the right hand side so you can switch between these presets just by pressing the button on your pen so i've got that i, pr I switch it to another color and then i switch it to another color um, look at that so you know you can just toggle between various brush types another really interesting thing is the color picker so say you have a photograph inserted in your and you know, in your S note, and you can just pick a color from there. So say blue, right? And it just just picks up the color, and you can use that um, 
on your uh, S node. Pretty cool. The other interesting thing that's again in Node 2 is Easy Clip. You can just press the button and circle a particular area and, you, and then you can share that um, across obviously multiple platforms. So say you want to send it to someone through Gmail, you just press Gmail and it's gone. So there are quite a few things and I'm sure there are many more that are yet to be explored. So it really depends on how much time you spend with your device. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed.